Welcome to the Live Free, Love Life podcast, where we discuss how to create more freedom so we can love our lives no matter what we're going through. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's podcast episode of Live Free, Love Life. Today, we're going to talk about how unwritten rules are robbing you of happiness. And of course, we will talk about how to escape those chains because that's what we do on this podcast. In a world governed by norms and expectations, many of us find ourselves confined by unwritten rules, both societal and self-imposed. These rules dictate how we should behave, what we should pursue, and who we should become. However, there comes a point when breaking free from these invisible chains becomes imperative for personal growth and fulfillment. Today, we will explore the negative aspects of adhering to unwritten rules, and discuss the importance of self-discovery and provide practical steps to liberate yourself from these constraints. So let's meet Emma. Emma is one of my clients. And when I started working with her, she would often say things like, oh, I can't do that. Then I would ask, why not? And she would say things like, I'm not allowed. Or the mom doesn't do that. Or what would people think? She had a lot of ideas about who she was supposed to be and what was okay and not okay for her to do. Some of it was programmed into her brain by society, as things often are, and some was self-imposed. She came to me because even though she had a great life, she just wasn't feeling satisfied or fulfilled in that life. Every day was just blah, and she didn't know how to find the joy and fulfillment that she was craving. I asked her to write something about herself to paint a picture for all of you, and Here is what she gave me. See if you can find some of yourself in her story. Emma is a 42-year-old wife and mother who is ensnared in the constricting web of unwritten rules. Her daily life unfolds like a weary script where societal expectations and self-imposed standards collide, leaving her not knowing who she is or what she wants. Each morning, Emma wakes to a symphony of responsibilities, a daunting overture to a day dictated by unspoken norms. The weight of societal expectations presses down on her like an invisible hand, shaping her actions before she even steps out of bed. Motherhood, a role that she always thought would be a source of joy, feels like an intricate dance with expectations. The pressure to be the perfect mother, to balance career and family seamlessly, creates a constant undercurrent of stress. Emma's sense of self becomes entangled in a web of shoulds and should not, drowning out the rhythm of her own desires. Frustration becomes a silent companion as she endures the mundane tasks that define her day. Instead of being a source of comfort, her routine reminds her of dreams deferred and aspirations put on hold. The artist within her, once vibrant, now paints with muted strokes, overshadowed by the societal canvas that demands conformity. The dissatisfaction spills in her relationships leaving imprints on the connections she cherishes. The fear of judgment, both external and self-inflicted, stifled her authenticity, leaving her yearning for a sense of liberation. The mirror reflects a woman she struggles to recognize, a wife and mother whose identity is blurred by the role society has thrust upon her. Emma yearns to redefine herself, to shatter the unwritten rules that confine her, but the fear of disrupting the delicate balance keeps her bound. Her frustration transforms into a silent scream, reverberating in the quiet moments when the world around her sleeps. The missed opportunities, the stifled creativity, and the unspoken desires claw at her heart, demanding acknowledgement. In the shadows of the night, Emma grapples with the ghosts of unexplored passions and the echoes of dreams that seem to slip further away. The uncharted territories of her authenticity beckon, promising a life unburdened by societal expectations a life where she is not defined solely by her role as a wife and mother. As the sun sets on another day, Emma stands at the intersection of conformity and authenticity, yearning for the courage to tear apart the script that dictates her life. The path toward liberation awaits, and in the quiet of the night, she contemplates the possibility of a life where her roles as a wife and mother coexist harmoniously with the authenticity she craves. The journey to rediscover herself is both daunting and exhilarating and Emma holds the key to unlock the door to a life that is truly her own. Now, obviously, Emma wrote this after we have worked with each other for a long time because it shows a lot of awareness about where she used to be 
and also where she wants to be. And when she came to me, she did not have a lot of awareness about where she wanted to be or even what the problem really was. She just knew that she felt unsatisfied with her life, even though on the outside, her life looked good. So let's talk about the weight of unwritten rules. For those of you who are moms, maybe you don't feel it at this level, but there are moments when all of us feel like, man, I'm not just a mom. I wish I could just be myself or I wish I could be seen as who I really am and not just mom. My kids are constantly telling me, well, that's your job. They see me as this person who just has a job to feed and clothe them and drive them around and do all the things. That's just my job because that's who I am as mom. And every time they say things like that, I'm like, yeah, but I'm also a person. And I have a lot of things going on that are not mom. There's my mom role and there's my wife role, but I have lots of other roles. I have a coach role and a friend role. We all have lots of roles and even all of those roles still don't encompass who we are. And each of those roles has its own set of rules and expectations, either from society or from ourselves. And the more that we add, the less of ourselves we find within them. Whether it's at the level of Emma or not, all of us can relate to this, to having these rules and expectations thrust upon us by society, by our families, by our friends, by our mothers, by our spouses, by our children, and also by ourselves based on the roles that we are performing. But none of them are really us who we are. So let's talk about the weight of these unwritten rules. Society's unwritten rules often infiltrate our lives from an early age, shaping our beliefs, values, and aspirations. These rules can range from societal expectations about career paths and relationships to gender roles to just what we should look like. And they create a rigid framework that influences our decisions. Moreover, we often impose our own set of unwritten rules, personal standards and expectations that reflect a desire for acceptance or success. And here is where it becomes a problem. The first one is the struggle to be ourselves. One of the significant downsides to adhering to unwritten rules is the stifling of authenticity. When we conform to societal expectations or even our own self-imposed standards, we risk losing touch with our true selves. This disconnect can lead to a sense of emptiness and dissatisfaction as we may find ourselves living a life that doesn't align with our genuine desires and passions. This is where Emma found herself. She felt empty and dissatisfied because she was so busy following rules that she stopped listening to and connecting with herself to the point that she no longer even knew who that was. Problem number two, fear of judgment. Unwritten rules thrive on the fear of judgment. Society's expectations and our own self-imposed standards often stem from a fear of not fitting in or being perceived as different. This fear can paralyze us, preventing us from pursuing unconventional paths and stifling our creativity and individuality. Remember that question Emma asked, what will people think? Problem number three, limiting potential. By adhering strictly to unwritten rules, we limit our potential for personal and professional growth. These rules create invisible barriers that discourage risk-taking and experimentation, hindering our ability to explore new avenues and discover untapped talents and passions. As Emma followed the rules of who she was supposed to be, she stopped growing. Let's think about the unwritten rules that all of us are following. Some of them may be big ones, like getting married and having kids. Those are pretty big ones. If you think you're supposed to get married and have kids, but you don't really have a desire to do that, or if you think you should have lots of kids, but you only want one or two, or if you think you should go to college, but you don't really want to, or if you think you're supposed to stay home, but what you would really like is to have a career. There's a lot of big rules that we follow. And some of them are from society as a whole. And then in our society, we each have our own little subcultures. There's the city you live in, the neighborhood, the country, maybe whatever religion you follow, maybe that has a culture. There's lots of little subcultures, family cultures. There's lots of little cultures that also influence the paths that we think we're supposed to follow, the rules, the expectations. And then there are little things. It's not all about big things. A lot of them are little things. For example, this necklace that I'm wearing right here. 
in my church, the culture that I grew up in, I was always told we don't wear crosses. Every time I saw this cross, it says faith. It is the word faith that's made into a cross, the cross of the F. Every time I saw it, I thought, I love that. I love that symbol because to me, what it represents is faith in Christ. It's a very clear symbol. And I want to express faith in Christ. And every time I saw it, I saw it on necklaces. I saw it on t-shirt. I thought, man, I wish I could have that. I wish I could wear that. And then one day, because this is the work I do, I love to question the rule that I'm following. I was like, but why can't I? Who says? So I went and looked. And nothing in my church doctrine says I can't wear this. Nothing. It's all culture. It's something someone made up at some point. And then it got spread and then people added onto it and embellished it. And it just became part of the background, one of the rules that I follow that I don't actually need to follow. And once I questioned it and I got clear on where it came from and all of those things, I was like, I love this symbol. I'm totally getting the necklace. And now I can wear it and I love it. Same thing goes with my hair. Before I dyed my hair pink, I had lots of thoughts about what people would think. And I was like, maybe I'm too old to have pink hair. Is that something I can do? Is that me trying to be younger than I am? Is it okay for someone in their 40s to have pink hair? Is it okay to be a professional and have pink hair? Did that make me look unprofessional? There were so many rules about it. I love my pink hair. My pink hair is an expression of the truest version of me inside. I'm super fun and adventurous. And I love having pink hair. But before I could have pink hair, I had to question all of the rules I had about pink hair. So there are big things like the way you should run your life on a grand scale. And there are little teeny things, things that you wish you could do, but you, for some reason, think you can't because there is an unwritten rule. Those are all the things we want to start to question because what we want to do in 2024 is be the truest version of ourselves with no apologies. That is what gives us freedom. And that is what helps us to love our lives. The more we follow other people's rules or even rules that are self-imposed that we didn't really realize that we put on ourselves, the more we put ourselves into those boxes, the less free we are. Then you're confined in a box. You have to be this, this, and this. You aren't free to just be yourself. You're not free to dye your hair pink because it feels like Just a fun expression of who you are on the inside. Let's stop putting ourselves into boxes. Let's stop following rules and write our own set of rules or just chuck all the rules all together. I don't care. Let's talk about what embracing liberation might look like. Breaking free from unwritten rules requires a conscious effort to rediscover and embrace who you really are. It involves challenging societal norms and questioning the rules you've set for yourself. This does not have to be a scary process. If you let it, this can actually be really fun. I had fun dyeing this necklace. I had fun dyeing my hair pink. It can be really fun to start dropping the rules and letting yourself actually be who you really are and do what you really want to do. Here are a few steps to help you embark on this liberating journey. Number one, self-reflection. Begin by reflecting on your life and identifying areas where you feel constrained or unsatisfied or both. Let's look for all the areas, constrained and unsatisfied. Consider the values and expectations that have been imposed on you, both externally and internally. And then ask yourself if these beliefs align with your true desires and aspirations. Step two, questioning assumptions. Challenge societal norms and question assumptions about success, happiness, fulfillment, all of it. Question all of it. Understand that the path to a meaningful life may deviate from conventional routes, and that's perfectly okay. Explore different perspectives and question whether certain beliefs truly serve your best interests. We want to question all of it. Number three. Identify limiting beliefs. Examine the beliefs you hold about yourself and your capabilities. Identify any self-limiting beliefs that may be holding you back. Those beliefs often stem from past experiences, societal conditioning, or comparison with others. Replace limiting beliefs 
with empowering ones that fuel your growth. Number four, define your values. Clearly define your core values, those principles that are most important to you. Clearly, one of mine is freedom. This whole podcast is about freedom because that is one of my core values. And when I look through that lens, it becomes a compass to guide my decisions. Use your values as a compass to guide your decisions and actions. When your choices align with your values rather than unwritten rules, you are more likely to lead a fulfilling and authentic life. Number five, embrace imperfection. Let go of the pursuit of perfection. Understand that making mistakes and facing failures are integral parts of the learning process. Embrace imperfection as a stepping stone to self-discovery and growth. And number six, cultivating courage. Liberating yourself from unwritten rules requires courage. Cultivate the courage to step outside your comfort zone. Challenge societal expectations and pursue your authentic desires. Remember that true growth often happens beyond the boundaries of familiarity. Here are some questions to consider as you discover your unwritten rules. Number one, what unwritten rules are you following? Number two, it's just a different way to say it in case you're right like, I don't know. What do you wish you could do, but don't because you think it would be frowned upon or because of what you think it would mean about you? My brain has an easier time answering this than the unwritten rule than following. A lot of times because they're unwritten rules, we don't even realize that we're following rules. When you just think, what do you wish you could do, but don't? because you think it would be frowned upon or because of what you think it would mean about you if you did. Number three, where did these rules come from? Number four, why are you choosing to follow these rules? And number five, what would it take to throw the rules out and do what you want to do instead? In a world unindated with unwritten rules, the journey towards self-liberation is a courageous act of reclaiming your authenticity. Breaking free from societal expectations and personal constraints allows you to shape your own narrative and live a life aligned with your true self. Embrace the uncertainty, challenge the status quo, and embark on a journey of self-discovery that leads to a more fulfilling and authentic existence. Remember, the path to true freedom begins with the decision to be unapologetically yourself. Live free, love life. Thank you for watching this episode of Live Free, Love Life. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like, comment, and share. See you next time.